I just released the fourth version of the free Krita brushes for game artist, along with the 10th version of the premium counterpart. And I want to show you what's new in this video, how it works and uh, mention what's coming next. So you have seven new presets plus improvements to existing ones. First of all, you have a very soft airbrush that's very nice for uh, shading to add things like, let me show you, like a bit of highlights inside of shadows. It's a very subtle brush. So if I pick a tree and I have to activate the preserve alpha option, this one allows you to get the whole pressure range. It's designed specifically for that. And it's especially powerful with custom blending modes to add vivid colors to your assets with overlay, or you can use multiply to add shadows. Next up, I added three splatter brushes, and these are quite special. Uh, Krita has a dedicated engine to work with those. When you change the size, you don't change the size of the little dots or particles or details, you know, you actually change their density. So if you go really low, you can create brush strokes almost. And that's quite powerful. Now, I'm going to improve them in future versions because I discovered that you can do some very interesting things with them while experimenting. But for this release, uh, that's what you're getting. You have two that are really nice for flying dust or those types of effects or details like on concrete, for example, on a wall, uh, you can do little splatters. And if you lower the size, can start to get really nice uh, small details for a path, for example, for game textures to um, make it feel a bit like leaves and all. Uh, you can change the detail element size. It's just a bit cumbersome. You have to go to the brush editor with F5 and go to the spray shape and you increase the size there. So you lock their proportions and then you, you change the size right here. You can try them in the scratch pad and you can achieve new effects with that. And you can see, you can almost create bokeh effects or bubbles in water. You can do lots of things. Uh, very nice for graphic design as well. The third one is for scratches or for effects like rain, for example, in your painting. So it's uh, directional. It flows along with your brush stroke. These are the spray brushes. On top of that, you have one for pixel art. Um, let me show you this one. I'll have to zoom in a lot closer. There you go. I'm going to draw a pixel art shape. It's still too big. There we go. That's pixel art. Okay, so let's say I have some kind of shape. This tool is like the liquify tool, you know, the liquify transform, but it's for pixel art. So you can push and pull pixels around and you can sculpt something. I, I really love that because look at that. I'm not painting with a pixel art tool, but I can like sculpt a character. It's really like liquify and I have some kind of animal, for example, right there. And last but not least, you have some rock painting brushes. So you have two, you have one that's called uh, crevices or something like that. And this one adds, you know, really subtle or really strong texture, you can almost fill in, you know, your your layer. It's a bit like a cliff or something like that. And the other one platters details on the rock and it works for moss, for example. If you pick some uh, yellow green, you can add some moss to your rocks. So yeah, that's that for the new presets. And you could see something. I can rotate my brush tip. I got a Wacom art pen just to add rotation to the existing brushes. Now there are some extra uh, changes that came to the brushes. For example, if we take this one, it's at least two times faster than it used to be. So I'm drawing without the uh, fast preview on so that you can see how fast it draws. There are a few brushes like these that got performance improvement. Others have rotation support, not all of them, but I'm going through all of the presets to improve them. Things like changing the blending curve as well. 
For example, that round blending preset is a lot stronger now. It's also faster than before, maybe by 50%, something like that. And uh, it's a lot easier to get full opacity with it and still blend colors. The Illustrator, a professional concept artist and illustrator, sent me uh, thumbnails he made and uh, yeah, he made them with the brushes. You can send me your art via Twitter or on Discord, on the GDQuest Discord channel. I share it from time to time on social networks. Other people like to see art as well. The premium brushes also got a substantial update, especially in December, I added 20 presets. If you get them, you get quality tools, exclusive tutorials, and you support the channel at the same time. I'll let you check it out. I'm leaving the links in the description below on the end screen as well. You have the free brushes, the premium brushes, and thank you for watching. See you in the next update.